Hello and welcome to Spring Bar Media's Active Tips. Today we're going to talk about how you can download a flip chart from Promethean Planet. When you first get to Planet, you're going to see over here the current site that you're on. You're going to see a bunch of tabs across the middle, as well as their welcome with maybe their editor's picks or themes for the month. You can see some flip charts that other people have uploaded, as well as articles and blogs, and then you can see the editor's picks. So let's say I want to go with one of these editor's picks. I can click here on preview resource. So now I see a preview page for this flip chart. I can tell it's a flip chart because it has multiple pages down here and also because the file format over here says active inspire flip chart. So I can flip through all the pages and see a little preview of what's going to be happening. And if I want to download this, I'm just going to hit download. Now, depending on what internet browser you're using, you either might get a pop-up window asking you if you want to download, or it might automatically begin your download for you. One of the cool things that Promethean Planet does for you is it recommends other resources that go along with the one you just downloaded. So the same thing, you can either preview them or download them. It shows you how many people have viewed them, how many people have downloaded them, and how many people have favorited them. So my flip chart's right down here, and I'm actually going to double click it to open. And this is going to bring it up right in Active Inspire. I didn't have to have Active Inspire running first. Every time you double click on a flip chart, Active Inspire will open. The first thing I usually do when I download someone else's flip chart is take a look if there's any page notes. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to pin my toolbar. I'm going to click on the page notes. And I don't see any for this first page. I don't see any. I don't see any in this flip chart, but page notes often will be there to tell you how you should how you should be interacting with the page. If there's actions or what the answers are for containers or where, what kind of questions you want to ask with the images on the page. This one does have some really good images and resources though, and maybe I want to keep some of those. I could just change what this person has on their page by clicking and then highlighting it and maybe changing it to be a different size, a different font or a different color. So when you go to Promethean Planet, you can type in something that you're looking for. If you're a primary school teacher, sometimes you can type in a really broad category to see a lot of different options. If you're teaching high school, you're probably better off looking for something a little bit more specific. If you type in science, a lot of the resources you're going to see are for elementary school students. So over here I can see that there's an age range I can look for. If you ever see this being an age range and you want it to be a grade range, take a look at the site that you're on. So I'm on the international site. So they don't have this by grade because students all over the world might be in different grades when they're in different ages. You can also take a look at the file format that you're looking for. I like to look for resource packs, which are a little bit different, and there's a video about that um, later. But you can also look for Promethean flip charts. It'll sort out all the other options. Now you search for science resources in the age range of six, six to eight year olds. If there's something you want to preview in here, if you click on it, it'll let you preview it. And then you can also click download to download it. On Planet, if you click on My Planet and you click on Downloads, it'll show you all the flip charts that you've downloaded. You can see I've downloaded a lot of different instructional materials. It'll also let you add a review after you're done with them so you can help other teachers decide if they'd like to download that resource or not. Thanks for watching!